So I'm out here on this really very nice day, walking around, talking to myself to a camera. But every action that I'm performing has a purpose, it has an intention. I'm trying to do something, I'm trying to achieve something. And this is what Aristotle calls a good. Every action is aimed at a good. Every human endeavor is aimed at a good. We always do something for a reason, for a purpose. Well, these goods are going to be a central part of what Aristotle has, has to say about morality. As remember, morality uh, very much involves decisions. If you're making decisions, you have a moral theory. Well, for Aristotle, if you're making decisions, you have some kind of good in mind. You have something that you're trying to achieve. The question is, um, what is the good? So we said that you, know, you perform actions for a purpose. You're trying to achieve something. You're trying to uh, accomplish something. You have a goal. You have uh, something that you want to happen. And Aristotle calls these goods. Now, you might pretty often realize that goods are often done for the sake of something else. So we uh, you know, asked everybody in the class why you are taking this class. And most of you had the very honest answer of uh, that you're taking this class for requirement. So the idea is that you're taking the class for the sake of something else. Namely, you're required to take this class for a degree. Right? Well, when a good is performed for the sake of something else, right, we call that an, in an instrumental good. An instrumental good. It's a good performed, or it's a good accomplished, as I say, a good accomplished for the sake of something else. We can also think of this as steps towards a final goal. Uh, so you're taking your courses for your final for your goal of a degree, but the gr the degree isn't even the final goal. The degree is to get the job. Uh, the job is for the sake of something else. Could it be for uh, a paycheck? It could be for uh, a uh, a living. It could be for the sake of supporting family. There's uh, quite often when we have a goal in mind, it's it's uh, for the sake of something else. Now you might ask yourself, you might wonder, is there a good that is good simply for its own sake? Is there something that we try to achieve simply for the sake of achieving that thing? And that's a really big question for Aristotle. So what would this be like? What would this be? What would this mean? Or can we even show that there is this good that we work for simply for its own sake? So we've been talking about goods as the as what we're trying to accomplish with action. And the question, and we were talking about instrumental goods, and these are goods that we accomplish for the sake of something else. So a question that we can ask ourselves really quickly is, uh, is there a good that's simply good for its own sake? Right? We perform this thing simply for its own sake. Well, is there a way that we can show that there is even such a thing uh, without necessarily knowing what it is? Well, Aristotle thinks so. So think about this. You know, suppose that, um, you know, whatever you're doing, right? So, you know, suppose we're working out, right? Suppose I'm working out and, um, you know, I'm trying really hard. I'm swimming. I'm uh, exercising. I'm eating right. But I'm just not losing any weight. In fact, I'm still gaining weight. My blood pressure is rising. My uh, uh, um, pulse rate is rising. My resting pulse rate is rising. Uh, my cholesterol is rising. Uh, I just, in fact, it seems like nothing that I'm doing is helping in any way to make me healthy. So ask yourself, uh, you know, if I'm swimming and exercising or working out for the sake of being healthy, right? if swimming and exercising is an instrumental good for the sake of being healthy, and if I'm not actually being healthy, is swimming and working out actually any good? Well, if it's just an instrumental good, meaning it's good for the sake of something else, 
and that something else is not happening, then no. Right? For the instrumental good, if what you're trying to get isn't happening using the instrumental good, then the instrumental good is not good for that at all. So it has no goodness. But what would it mean to say that there isn't a good for which everything else is good? Well, that would mean something like this, that whatever good you have, whatever you're trying to do, it's always, always, always just good for something else. So, exercise is uh, good for health, and health is good for increased life, and life is good for um, uh, uh, fun experiences, and the fun experiences are good for memories, and memories are good for a story to tell, and a story to tell is good for hanging out with friends, and you just keep going and going and going and going, and there's just always just something that's good. I mean, that whatever, whatever good you have is good only for the sake of something else. Is any of that ever actually any good? So you just have this infinite hierarchy of goods. There's always just something that's good for the sake of something else. Well, that would mean something like this, that no matter what you're doing, right, if, if everything is just an instrumental good, no matter what you're doing, it never ever accomplishes that final goal. It never gets to what it's good for. Well, that would be like working out and not ever actually getting healthier. If there's just always something else that it's going to be good for, you'll never get what it's good for. Well, so then that means that nothing is ever any good. Well, we don't think that's true. Right? We think that you know, even our instrumental goods, well, they're good for something. They're good for something. Well, if they're good for something, and this goodness means that, you know, this goodness means that there can't be this infinite continuing of good, well then there's going to be one good that's good for everything else. The exercise is good for the health. The health is good for life. The life is good for fun experiences. Fun experiences is good for good times with good friends and so on and so forth. But you keep following up that hierarchy and eventually you're going to hit the highest good. Aristotle thinks this is true. That there is this highest good for which all human activity, all human endeavor, every last thing that you're trying to do, it's that good that you're trying to accomplish. Well, what would that be? So we've been talking about goods and instrumental goods and Aristotle thinks that there's this highest good and the reason why there has to be this highest good is because if it's not there then nothing is ever actually good for anything because right? it's just always good for something else and you never actually achieve this goodness and it all just falls apart. Well what is going to be this highest good? Aristotle thinks it's happiness. This is what he, this is what he uh, gives us in uh, the selections from the Nicomachean Ethics. Now, you know, just to be clear, uh, for Aristotle, happiness is not just, you know, yeah, that's not just what happiness is. Happiness is not just good times. Happiness is not just uh, feeling giddy or anything like that. Happiness, rather, is something like um, completion, fulfillment of being, being which is supposed to be. Fulfillment. These are better synonyms for happiness. It's uh, that state of existence for which um, you have accomplished what you're supposed to be. You have accomplished that goal of all goals. Now exactly figuring out what happiness is, well that's tough. How are we supposed to figure out what makes us happy? Well, we're going to look at some ideas for that. 
But this is what Aristotle thinks is the point of morality. When we want to know how we are to live our life, when we want to know how we're supposed to guide our decisions, we figure out what brings happiness. Morality is not sitting here and trying to find reasons to think that another person is bad or worthless or terrible or, or is not a reason to think that you've earned your, uh, you know, you've er, you know, acquired some kind of station in life or, you know, it's not about uh, being able to look down upon somebody and say, ha ha, I'm better than you. No, it's about happiness. It's about happiness. So what is this? happiness? What is this going to involve? How do we be happy? Well, we're going to look at that through the course of the semester.